How's it going, friends? Reckless Yuki here. I hope you guys are doing awesome. And in this video, I like to do an episode of Amazon Tech Call, where basically I order stuff off Amazon that has to do with something with either gaming or tech. And I share it with you guys, because if it's something that interests me, it's probably something that's gonna interest you guys as well. And in this video, we're going to be unboxing all of this. And in this video, or at least in this order, the things I order have to deal with my webcam and also with my DSLR. And basically, I wanna take my DSLR and turn it into a webcam so I'm not really limited to the quality of the Logitech C920. Even though it's a fantastic webcam, I feel it does have its limitations. So I want to use either a camcorder that I have sitting in my drawer from way back when that is better quality than my webcam or possibly the DSLR that I'm talking to you guys now. And I have the stuff here that will potentially let me do that. I'm pretty sure I spent like a good couple hours researching products to make sure that what I ordered will work for what I need. So that's what we'll be getting into without any further ado, I'll stop blabbering. And with the help of my big ass knife, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So let's see. I'm not even sure what the order of all this stuff is, but I'll just kind of go through from top to bottom. And let me just get this. <laughs> all right. I almost cut myself. All right, so key, key thing when it comes to knives is always cut away from yourself. Don't do what I'm doing and be a complete idiot, which I might have to cut the video short and actually go to the hospital if I do mess up in the future, which I need to learn to cut away something that you learn in Boy Scouts, but I never was in Boy Scouts, so I guess I can't really be at fault. But the first thing I got is a mini HDMI to HDMI cable, and this is a six footer, I believe, or something close to that, yeah, six footer. And one thing I made sure to get when I got one of these is with my, uh, I guess, camcorder as well as my DSLR, it has a mini HDMI out that could send video via the HDMI. And I didn't want to go with like an Amazon basic because those cables are really thick. So I went with a StarTech because it was supposed to have like a really thin cable and that allows me to basically have it connected in the camera and easily bend this portion and route this cable where I need it to go. So. I made sure when I picked out a HDMI cable, I picked one with a thin cable so that it can be, I guess, easily maneuverable. It won't be this big hunking thing out of my camera. So uh, that's why I got this, a new HDMI cable. Now moving on to the next thing. Let's see. All right, so this time I'm gonna learn to basically cut away from myself. All right, that was a lot safer. <laughs> Oh man. All right. So the next thing that I got myself is a capture card. So this is a Magewell, I don't even know what model. It's a something something HDMI something uh, USB. So basically it uses a USB 3.0 to connect to your computer and it has the HDMI going to one side, the USB out the other. And what this will be able to do is capture the image that's being output from the camera's HDMI port and basically transfer it to the computer for the computer to understand the image. And this is kind of needed if you have something that isn't really friendly with PCs like my camera, which is a Panasonic GH3, which is a phenomenal video quality camera. Like I purchased this camera over like Canon Rebels and like whatever Nikon has, because this has been by far one of the best cameras for video quality. As you could tell by the videos, I think it does a really good job. And because of it, because it's being Panasonic, it's kind of limited in functionality as far as like the modding community, as far as the hacking community because Panasonic doesn't release their firmware or their drivers. Uh, they kind of keep everything in house, whereas Canon kind of embraced the community a little bit more, I think, where they're able to have modifications like Magic Lantern or Magic Lantern? I th yeah, Magic Lantern, I think is what it's called, where it basically improves the quality of the camera through firmware, where the Panasonic has nothing like that. So I'm resorted to get a capture card for it. And also I kind of like the idea of this capture card because there is very, very little latency when it comes to this. And also you need to make sure that if you use a capture card with console gaming, that you have two separate capture cards because from what I read in the past, if you try to use the same type of capture card for a program like OBS, it won't be able to differentiate between the two. I'm not sure if that changed recently, but that's what I kind of 
new from before so that's why i got this as well now this is kind of expensive too this is 300 dollars but what makes this really good is because this is able to work with mac windows linux and this doesn't have any software for it. It basically just uses the firmware already built into your operating system. And that's what makes this work really well. And supposedly this also really minimizes your CPU usage, which is definitely awesome for gamers out there when you don't really want to use more of your CPU, depending on what type of CPU you have. So uh, I thought this was a great buy and I'll be sure to let you guys know how it performs in the upcoming videos. Uh, but then next we have the big box here. And this also has some other things that's not really related to tech, but I guess I'll just show you guys anyway because it's in this big box. Uh -uh -uh. So let's see, <laughs> I guess just get through with like the stuff that doesn't have to relate to uh, what I'm trying to do in this video is basically I ordered pure filters because I needed pure filters for pure drinking water. And then I also bought one of these, which is a faucet uh, filter. And that's because I used to have a Brita one, but it broke. So I bought one of these to try pure to see if it'll do something different. And that's what's in this box that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm doing in this video. But next thing I got is this, which is basically called a super clamp. And this is from Manfrotto. And what this is, is a big hunking clamp that's able to basically hook on almost anything, any sort of cylindrical surface, any sort of flat surface. And this is mainly to keep whatever you want clamped to something actually clamped. So these things are actually like really, really good um, for clamping down. Uh, I have one of these somewhere, but I honestly don't know where I put it. So I have to like, it, it got lost in the move from Hawaii out to here. So I bought another one because of how good I liked basically the setup before. And it definitely like, once you clamp it down, like it's not gonna move, it's not gonna like come undone. So I really like the quality of these clamps. And then finally, the last thing I have, uh, uh, uh. all right, move this. All right, so this, it's a, another product from Manfrotto and this isn't necessarily within the camera department or the tripod department. This is under their lighting supports or lighting, I guess, uh, area. And what this is, is basically an articulating arm or I think it's called a magic arm. And basically, um, you're able to undo these clamps. Yeah, so you're able to undo these clamps and basically maneuver this thing wherever you need so that I can basically have this sitting behind my desk. And then this thing will be able to articulate over my monitor and basically get to where my webcam is so that it basically will turn my DSLR into a webcam. And I'm able to kind of basically just station it right at the perfect location that I need in order to capture whatever I'm trying to do when it comes to gaming, probably my face. But then also I'm thinking it might be able to reach over my monitor and basically kind of get a shot of my desk. So whenever I'm doing a product review, I can just have my hands here without anything in front of me, like the camera, like before I'd have to have the camera sitting here, angled down and kind of work around it, which kind of gets annoying. Whereas this is just basically kind of come down overhead and just look straight down. And then I'll just have kind of a free area to basically do what I need when I'm reviewing a product, which is something I'm looking forward to when I do some more mouse reviews, which is something I need to do on this channel. And so, yeah, so that's basically the last thing. And then this also comes with a, uh, basically this camera mount, which fits on it. And then this is able to screw into the bottom of the camera as well as any other camera that takes, I think, uh, uh, whatever this, this is like a standard thread size. I can't remember what it is. I think it's like a three eighths inch is what the cameras use. Uh, I'm not too sure at the moment, but yeah, so this is, this is what I got basically to turn my DSLR into a webcam for increased quality on my channel. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. And if you want me to do a review on any of this stuff, please let me know in the comments as well. That'll help motivate me to do videos that you guys want to see. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video and I'll talk to you guys again in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.